Matthew chapter 8 When Jesus came down from the hillside, large crowds followed him. Suddenly, someone with a skin disease approached him and knelt down in front of him. Master, he said, if you want to, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him. I do want to, he said. Be clean. And at once his disease was cured. Take this seriously, Jesus said to him. Don't say anything to anyone about this. Instead, just go show yourself to the priests and make the offering that Moses commanded. That will be a proof to them. So Jesus went into Capernaum. A centurion came up and pleaded with him. Master, he said, my servant is lying at home paralyzed. He is in a very bad state. I'll come and make him better, said Jesus. Master, replied the centurion, I don't deserve to have you come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. I know what authority's all about, you know. I've got soldiers answering to me, and I can say to one of them, go, and he goes, and to another one, come here, and he comes. I can say, do this to my slave, and he does it. Jesus was pretty amazed when he heard this. I'm telling you the truth, he said to the people who were following. I haven't found faith like this, not even in Israel. Let me tell you this. Lots of people will come from the east and the west and join the great party of celebration with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the so-called children of the kingdom will be thrown into the outer darkness where people will weep and gnash their teeth. So he turned back to the centurion. Go home, he said. It'll be done for you as you believed. And the centurion's servant was healed at that very moment. Jesus went into Peter's house. There he saw Peter's mother-in-law laid low with a fever. He touched her hand, the fever left her, and she got up and waited on him. When evening came, they brought to him many people who were possessed by demons. He cast out the spirits with a word of command and healed everyone who was sick. This happened so that the word spoken by Isaiah the prophet would come true. He himself took our weaknesses and bore our diseases. When Jesus saw the crowd all around him, he told them to go across to the other side of the lake. A scribe came up and spoke to him. Teacher, he said, I'll follow you wherever you go. Foxes have their dens, replied Jesus, and the birds in the sky have their nests. But I don't have anywhere to lay my head. Another disciple said to him, Master, first let me go and see to my father's funeral. Follow me, replied Jesus, and let the dead bury their own dead. So Jesus got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. All of a sudden there was a great storm that blew up on the sea, and the boat was being swamped by the waves. In spite of all this, Jesus was asleep. They came and woke him up. Help, Master, rescue us, they shouted. We're done for. We are going to die. Why are you so scared and have such little faith? Then he got up, and he told the wind and the sea to behave themselves and there was a great calm. They were all astonished. What sort of man is this, they said to themselves. Even the wind and the sea do what he says. So he went across to the other side to the region of the Gadarenes, which means the 10 towns. Two demon-possessed men met him. They were coming out of the tombs. They were very violent and made it impossible for anyone to go along that road. What do we have to do with you, son of God, they yelled. Have you come here to torture us ahead of the time? Some way off from where they were, there was a large herd of pigs feeding. If you cast us out, the demons begged, send us into the herd of pigs. All right then, go, said Jesus. And then and there, the entire herd rushed down the steep slope into the lake and were drowned in the water. The herdsmen took off running. They went off to the town and told the whole tale, including the part about the demon-possessed men. So the whole town came out to see Jesus for themselves, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. This is the word of the Lord.